folk tale from haryana a forest of blue flowers parmananda led a lonely life as he had lost his parents when he was young and he was their only child he preferred to live on the edge of a forest as he liked the company of birds and flowering trees he mostly ate fruits roots of some plants and the leaves of certain trees which he found edible rarely did he catch birds but very rarely one day he had kept a trap for birds after some time he found a beautiful wild parrot inside the net he took it out and began stroking its feathers he was surprised when the bird began to speak if you won't kill me or sell me in the market you'll meet with good fortune parmananda replied tell me what you want me to do to enjoy the good fortune you promise me take me to the king and let me do the talking said the parrot i shall said parmananda he found his way to the palace and presented himself before the king parrot in hand the king exclaimed now that's a beautiful bird he called an attendant and asked him to fetch princess moti rani when she came the king said rani would you like to keep this bird the princess of course was delighted yes father i shall look after it well the king turned to parmananda well young man how much do you want for the bird he took some time to respond as he had been taken up by the beauty of the princess the parrot took the opportunity to speak a thousand coins it said everybody in the court was surprised over how the parrot talked so fluently the king made the royal treasurer count the coins he handed over the pouch to the king who then gave it to parmananda after he left the king and the princess listened to the parrot's talk for some time before the princess took the parrot to her apartments the next day a golden case was made for the parrot a few days later the parrot told the princess please allow me to return to my home for a while i promise i shall come back i'll even bring a present for you princess moti rani reluctantly agreed she remained at the window watching the parrot fly away the parrot kept its promise it came back after a few weeks carrying in its beak a beautiful blue flower the princess was very happy then and there she declared that she would marry whoever brought a whole bunch of the same flower if not a tree itself the king was shocked when he was told of the princess's decision he pleaded with the princess moti rani my dear many princes have already asked for your hand and they are all handsome and brave just imagine if a hunter wandering in the forest were to come upon the flower and manage to bring a tree would you then marry him remember he'll have to succeed me on the throne the king found that the princess would not easily change her mind he made a proclamation hoping that one of the princes among the suitors would succeed in finding the tree that grows the blue flower the princess had fallen in love with some of them did search 
for the tree and the flower far and wide and came back and told the king that it was just an idle fancy of the princess and she would soon forget all about the flower meanwhile paramananda too had heard the proclamation somehow the beautiful princess mothirani had got his fancy and he dreamt that one day he would marry her after all it was his parrot that had taken the exotic flower to the princess and he knew every forest every jungle like the back of his palm he walked for several days over hills and through forests across fields and rivers and then one day as he stood on top of a hill he saw below a whole forest of the blue flower he remained there for some time enjoying the sight then he started climbing down when he reached the forest he thought he should find out in whose kingdom he was standing and whether he would get permission to pluck a bunch of flowers if not cut down a plant and and take it to princess mothirani he heard a horse's hooves he hid behind a huge tree to see who it was coming to the forest it was a young man he was not looking like any prince he got down from the horse moved among the trees and sat down under the shade of a tree he looked sad parmananda approached him would you tell me to which kingdom i have come to it was only then the young man noticed that he was not alone this is the kingdom of the flowering forest who are you and what brought you here queried the young man my name is parmananda i came here in search of the blue flower and i find a whole forest full of the blue flower but friend why are you looking sad i'll tell you my story the king had a beautiful daughter she possessed a special gift whenever she came here the birds sang she was so gentle that whenever she touched the buds they blossomed my father was the king's minister and when we were children princess neelmani and i used to play together when we grew up we decided to marry each other but the king wanted her to marry a wealthy merchant however neelmani told him that she would not marry anyone other than her childhood friend me the king was angry with her at that time a magician was visiting him on the pretext of giving her a golden complexion he sat her around a fire in the glow of the flames he turned the princess into a golden nail if you heat the nail in a fire your daughter will get back her life the magician told the king before he went away what happened to the golden nail parmananda asked of the young man the king had been so angry with the princess that he had the nail hammered into one of the trees here this i came to know from one of her companions in the palace days have gone by i have ever since been coming here every day searching for the tree on which the nail had been hammered into i haven't succeeded i am told the king is repenting now if i retrieve the nail i shall take it to him and bring back the princess to life 
I'm sure he'll then agree to our marriage. I shall help you in searching for the tree and the nail, said Paramananda. But how? I haven't left out any tree and I couldn't find it till now, said the young man. May I suggest something, said Paramananda. Let's come here in the night. That's a good idea. I had never thought of it. Come with me now, said the young man. Late in the evening, they returned to the forest. The young man had taken a dagger with him. The two began looking at every tree. Suddenly, Paramananda exclaimed, Friend, see that. Something is glittering in the moonlight. It must be the nail. The minister's son took out his dagger and began chopping around the object. Soon, the nail came into view. In no time, he could pierce it out of the tree. The golden nail looked intact. We'll meet the king early tomorrow and hand over the nail. Next morning, they went to the palace and sought an audience with the king. His joy knew no bounds when the minister's son placed the golden nail in his hands. He introduced Paramananda to the king as the one who helped him find the nail. The king ordered a fire to the raised. When the flames rose with great expectations and excitement, he himself threw the nail into the flames. Nothing happened till the flames died down. Suddenly, from the embers emerged Neil Money as she looked when she was the princess. She caught hold of her father's extended hand and came out of the embers, looking like a golden beauty. The king lost no time in announcing the wedding of Princess Nilmani with the minister's son. He turned to Parmananda. What reward can I give you, my friend? Parmananda then revealed how he had come there in search of the blue flower. Why do you want to take only a bunch of them? The king asked. Take a whole tree. The princess will be very happy. Parmananda was duly escorted and when he reached the palace, he called on Princess Moti Rani and her father. Without wasting time, the tree was planted in the royal garden, much to the delight of the princess. The king agreed to her wedding with Paramananda. Dhanyavad. Thank you. If you like this video, do like, subscribe and share. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.